is life happening to you or are you living life? See, those are two way different mentalities that you have. The reality is in your life, if life is happening to you, you consistently are anxious. You are consistently seeing life as a victim. You are consistently not moving forward with your hopes and your dreams. Yeah, you may have a hope or a dream, but there's always going to be something to stop you. Why? Because life is happening to me. Life is happening to me, so therefore it's not just an obstacle here. It's an obstacle with teeth and mouth and it comes after me. When you allow life to happen to you, you're always going to see it as you have no choice. You have no, you have no ability to do anything. Something's going to change. Your life is a deck of cards and this is just the hand you were dealt. That's the things we say when life happens to you. And yes, maybe our life is a deck of cards and you were handed a deck of cards and I was handed a deck of cards and, and we got our hand dealt out and, and, and you don't have as good a hand as I do or I don't have as good a hand as you do. But when we keep in that mentality of the victim mind mentality, that life is happening to me, it kind of drains you of your will, your desire. If you're not dreaming, if you're not setting goals, then you're allowing life to happen to you. I wasn't setting goals for myself. There were times in my life I didn't have goals set for my, my relationships. I didn't have goals set for my spiritual journey. I didn't have goals set for my physical journey. Just what happened, what happened. I didn't have goals set for my mentality. I didn't have goals set for my finances. Life was happening to me. And that's why I was getting overweight. That's why I had so much inflammation. That's why my knees were hurting so bad. That's why my back was hurting so bad because I was letting life happen to me. Well, I'm almost 50 now. That's just the way it's supposed to be. But when you take life and say, no, I'm going to live life. Life's not going to happen to me. I'm going to do this. That means that it changes something. It doesn't matter what circumstance comes your way. It doesn't matter what obstacle gets in front of you. The world is not coming after you. I mean, let's think about it. How special do I think I am that I think the world is out to get me? Chad, yeah, the, it, everybody's out after me. That's how it feels. That's what we say. These are the things we say. But when you start living life, you set the goals and you pursue them with passion because you have a purpose in life. Living life is on purpose and it gets you get up in the morning and you say, I don't have time. I was talking to someone yesterday and they said, I just don't have time for that. I don't have time for that. Where are you going right now? I'm going into a store. I'm going to walk around and shop before I go to the next thing. What? You don't have time, but you got time for that. We got time for whatever we want to set it up for. Life isn't happening to us. We get to choose to go after life. And you get to choose what you're going to do with the time you have. Eight hours of sleep. Eight hours of, of work. We're just giving averages here, right? And I guarantee you most people aren't sleeping eight hours. So there's 16 hours gone. You got an hour travel time. So that's 17 hours gone. Right now you still have seven hours left. Okay, we'll throw in an hour for eating. So now that's six hours left. Okay, we'll throw an hour in for just, I don't know. So now you got five hours left. We'll throw in one more hour just for, I don't know. Now you got four hours left. What are you going to do with those four hours? Well, I got family. So, okay, then two hours. What are you going to do with those two hours? I mean, really, we have the time, effort, and energy, but too many people are allowing life to happen, and you're not setting the goals to go after them. What are your mental goals? What are your physical goals? What are your spiritual goals? What are your relationship goals? What are your financial goals? Stop allowing life to happen to you and start living life. If you're ready to start living life to the fullest, I would start with your physical health. Contact Heather and myself. We have this plan and it works and we will help you push through the obstacles of your life. Go conquer your day and go conquer your life.
Holy and healthy living is what this Jesus follower is all about.